Diseases are the number one silent enemy of baby chicks during their first few weeks of life. If you're serious about making your poultry farm productive and profitable, protecting your chicks in their early days is non-negotiable. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to recognize, prevent, and treat the most common chick diseases using natural and organic methods. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to do to keep losses low and growth high. Before we begin, I'd love to know, where are you watching from? Comment your country or town below so I can see just how far this poultry family reaches. Why early disease control matters. The first four to six weeks of a chick's life are called the critical window. At this stage, their immune systems are still developing. Every chick lost is not just a bird, but also feed, labor, and time wasted. With the simple organic methods I'm about to share, you can avoid many of these losses. Coccidiosis. Let's start with one of the most feared diseases in chicks, coccidiosis. This parasite attacks the intestines and can wipe out an entire flock if not controlled. Here's what to look for. Bloody droppings, loss of appetite, pale combs and waddles, diarrhea, dullness, and dehydration. If you ever notice chicks huddling in a corner looking weak with blood-tinged droppings, suspect coccidiosis immediately. Prevention tips. Keep litter dry. Raise drinkers slightly off the ground to reduce spills. Use absorbent bedding like with shavings. Clean feeders daily. Natural treatment. Crush several cloves of garlic into the drinking water or use garlic extract. Refresh daily until you see improvement. Combine with good hygiene for best effect. Garlic contains allicin, a compound with strong anti-coccidial properties. The second common problem is pasty butt. This is a dark, hard ball of feces stuck to the vent. It blocks waste from coming out and can kill a chick if ignored. It's caused by stress, overheating, or poor digestion. Prevention. Monitor brooder temperature at chick level, not just air level. Reduce crowding. Add a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar per liter of drinking water to aid digestion and reduce stress. Treatment. Moisten the hard plug gently with warm water. Allow it to soften before removal. Apply a little vegetable oil or herbal salve to the vent to prevent re-sticking. If you're finding these tips valuable so far, please hit the like button and share this video with another farmer. It really helps spread this knowledge to people who need it most and tells me you want more practical poultry tips like these. Now, let's talk about Marex disease a severe viral infection that causes paralysis. This virus attacks the nerves and can cause tumors. By the time symptoms appear, damage is advanced. Watch for inability to move, one leg stretched forward and the other back, ruffled feathers, and poor appetite. Prevention, only by vaccinated chicks. Ask the hatchery for a vaccination certificate. Boost immunity with garlic, apple cider vinegar, or probiotic powder in water. Disinfect the brooder before every new batch and make disinfection a routine. Isolate sick birds immediately. Even though there's no cure, building strong immunity means the chick's own cells can fight off the virus before it takes hold. Respiratory illnesses. These include viral, bacterial, and fungal infections of the breathing system. Symptoms watery eyes, sneezing, nasal discharge, open mouth breathing, dullness, loss of appetite. Prevention. Buy chicks from reputable hatcheries. Minimize dust by sieving feed and cleaning floors. Avoid dampness and manure buildup. If you smell ammonia, act fast. Provide cross ventilation, but avoid drafts. Follow vaccination schedules advised by vet. Organic support. Add chopped mint, rosemary, oregano, or thyme to feed or water. A handful of fresh herbs per liter of water is a good guide. Crooked neck slash stargazing. When a chick's neck twists oddly, it's often linked to vitamin B deficiency. Treatment. 
Mix one clove of garlic plus one teaspoon of raw honey in drinking water daily. Add fresh thyme and a vitamin supplement. Usually improves within a week. If it persists, call a vet. Splayed or spraddle legs. This is when the legs slip out to the sides, making walking impossible. Causes. Incubator temperature fluctuations. Slippery flooring, such as newspaper. Vitamin deficiency. Prevention. By chicks from reputable hatcheries. Use non-slippery bedding like wood shavings. Supplement diets with vitamins. Correction. Use hobble leg bands to bring legs back under the body. They're inexpensive and easy to find online. General immunity boosters. Always provide clean water, changed at least twice daily. Use probiotics and fermented feeds to strengthen gut health. Little steps like washing your hands before handling chicks, cleaning boots, and using foot baths add up to stronger disease control. Imagine what your farm will look like a month from now if you start applying these steps today. Healthier chicks, lower mortality, more profit. Every farmer can do this. You don't need expensive drugs to keep your chicks safe. Subscribe to this channel for weekly practical poultry tips. And in the comments, tell me which disease has been your biggest challenge. Together, we're building stronger, smarter farms.